with a pistol. Staff Sergeant Hooper then established a final line and reorganized his men, not accepting treatment of his many wounds until this was accomplished. Staff Sergeant Hooper's actions were in keeping with the highest traditions of the military service and reflect great credit upon himself, his unit, and the United States Army. The President of the United States of America, authorized by Act of Congress March 3, 1863, has awarded in the name of the Congress the Medal of Honor to Specialist 5, Clarence E. Sasser, United States Army, for conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity in action at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty. Specialist 5, Clarence E. Sasser, distinguished himself on January 10, 1968, while serving as a medical aid man with Company A, 3rd Battalion, 60th Infantry, 9th Infantry Division in the Republic of Vietnam. His company was making an air assault when suddenly it was taken under heavy small arms, recoilless rifle, machine gun, and rocket fire from well-fortified enemy positions on three sides at the landing zone. During the first few minutes, over 30 casualties were sustained. Without hesitation, Specialist Sasser ran across an open rice paddy through a hail of fire to assist the wounded. After helping one man to safety, he himself was painfully wounded in the left shoulder by fragments of an exploding rocket. Refusing medical attention, he ran through a barrage of rocket and automatic... And then I think all of you would like to see their families. We'll have a picture with each one of the families. Could we do that? All right. Would you bring your family up uh, first? And then... Mother and father ought to get over here. Well. And just just one just one don't. each family group. You know. Otherwise <laughs> otherwise they're gonna cut some they cut some of you out, you know. You know what There we go. Now this family is from New Jersey. Uh, Trenton, New Jersey, right? Yes, sir. And uh, the uh, your boy said that when he came in, you, you tell him what, he, what you told me. Because his teacher said, say hello. <laughs> He's going to go far with his teacher. <laughs> He's in the first grade. In the Houston area. And you still live in Texas. That's right. And you're stationed on Fort Bragg. No, but but Belvoir. So we've covered the whole country here. <laughs> East, West, and California. Yes. Okay. Congratulations. 